Hello. Yes, real British nationalism will rid us of the lunatic fringe and hope, not hate. Well, the lunatic fringe and hope, not hate, like Combat 18 and Search That Magazine, Jerry Gable. The one and the same thing, aren't they? Of course they are. Of course they are. You see, in the past, no matter how big the once mighty National Front grew, Jerry Gable knew Search That Magazine that once his agents within the National Front were activated. The once mighty National Front would be brought down. Is that not what happened? Well, of course. And the same could be said for the once successful British National Party under Nick Griffin. Once Nick Lowell's of Hope Not Hate activated his agents within the BMP, they knew they could bring it down. Is that not what happened? Well, exactly. But real British nationalism that's on its way is going to be devoid of Nick Lowell's and Jerry Gable's agents because the top um, rung of the ladder, if that's the right word, the top party officials will be genuine British nationalists, right? And yours truly, Joe Owens, he won't have these agents at his side influencing him with the lure of money or bad advice. It's not going to happen so Nick Lowell's hope not hate Jerry Gable's say that magazine they won't have that option no more it's gone right and the inroads real British nationalism is going to me it's just going to be phenomenal you see the Islamic republics here in Britain we're going to take control of them politically and legally and yes Nick Griffin culturally uh, community, physically, we're going to control them, but we're going to do it legally and politically as well. And you imagine the inroads we're going to make free of Nick Lowell's Hope Not Hate agents and Jerry Gable's Searchlight magazine agents. Because in the past we've been dogged by them. Remember Chris Jackson, another one that works for Gable, Lowell's or whoever. All he ever did in that Burnley was cause trouble, didn't he? You remember Nick, we were forever going down there. People like that won't be able to do their sabotage no more. It's the end of it, right? It's the end of it. Sadly, Nick Griffin, you're still in their orbit. Maybe you don't care. Maybe now you've resigned to the fact that, you know, your life in British nationalism now is a nationalist prophet, uh, swigging copious amounts of real ale and uh, ale pies down your gullet. I don't know. I just don't know whether or not you're going to get your act together again, which you should do. You owe it, right, to yourself, your family, British nationalism, the thousands of British nationalist members whose details you handed over to. I hope not hate searchlights. And the million people have voted BMP. You owe it to these people. Whether or not you've got an ounce of conscience in you, I don't know. But anyway, Joe Owens, right, there's not going to be... Yeah, hope not hate. Nick Lowe's Jerry Gable Sater magazine agents next to Joe Owens influencing him or uh, trying to distract him with the lure of money because these things have been happening behind the scenes. You don't know what's happening. The attack on myself has been immense, right? Literally immense. You'd be surprised. I should write a book about it. But what's very, very good about all this? is I've thwarted it all, I've seen right through it, and the enemy, Nick Lowe's Hope Not Hate, Jerry Gable, Sailor Magazine, they've shown their hand again and again and again. What I have learned over the past several years is priceless, is literally priceless. We can take the Islamic Republics, we can take many other parts of Britain. We need now to start controlling large parts of Britain. Let's start organising it now. Right, because the real British nationalism will rid us of the lunatic fringe and hope not hate. We'll have the shackles off us, right, to do what the British people want us to do, and that's take back our country. Okay, thank you.